Hi, David Drews here with the UNO Center for Public Affairs Research and recording a video because I received a question on how to get data for census tracts off the new Census Bureau data platform of data.census.gov. So I'm going to just tell, walk you through uh, how to do that, share the screen here. Uh, it is quite simple, but there are a few tricks, so always need to get those ready to go. Um, Starting at the website of data.census.gov, just enter that into your browser. I did it in advance to save time. And then this particular request was looking for information on how many vehicles a household has available. So I'm just gonna type in the word vehicle. You could make vehicle available um, and that would get us where we want to go. So it comes up with this list of hits here of possible tables that might work. DP4 will have the information, but that has a lot of housing information that we're not interested in. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this one here, um, this table, tenure, meaning owner or house renter by vehicles available to see what kind of information we can get. So here pops up some data on this screen. Uh, we can see its structure between owner-occupied households and renter-occupied, and then if they don't have a vehicle or how many vehicles they have in that household, okay? Um, in order to get data for census tracts, that's a small area geography, so we'd have to use the five-year products. Um, census Bureau releases one-year products for areas that have more than 65,000 population. Census tracts on average have about 4,000, so they're nowhere near meeting that one-year threshold. So we have to use the five-year data sets. And then as that table updates, we can go in and customize and select a geography. Okay, so here's this default for the United States. We want to go click a certain geography. So all we have to do is look through the menus. You could go type on a county. And I, I am going to do that because all census tracts will nest within a county. So it's good to get the county totals so that we can see um, how the census tracts therein sum up to that county total. So we're going to work in Douglas County, Nebraska. That's the home of Omaha. So as you see this, um, it then selects that into the menu. And here's our census tracts um, right underneath of that. So we need to select, well, where do we want to get the census tract? So a couple more menus to go. So I could get them for all of those in within Nebraska, but we want to be more specific. So let's scroll down to Douglas County, click there. And then we could either, either partic excuse me, select a particular tract um, throughout the list or at the top is the all census tracts within the county and that's what we want. There's 156 that we could get data for. So um, entering that we can now close this geography menu and we can see that our data has started to load here. Now with this level and number of geographies we would need to download this information uh, because it's just you know, if you were looking for just one tract, you know, you could go find it in the list and then just maybe highlight your cells here and copy those over into a program or something. But here we'd wanna go ahead and go through the download menus. I won't take us through that just um, for the sake of time. Um, another topic that the requester was interested in was on unemployment. So we can type in that from this search bar here. And then the key is to see that you have this selected to remember these for future searches. So by having already selected that and having that in the, in the green selected, uh, we will keep those geographies. So let's hit enter. And there's gonna be a variety of different tables um, that relate to employment and unemployment. Um, we can, through the system, uh, do some filtering to help out a little bit to limit our results. Um, but sometimes, again, it, it helps to know what we're looking for. And these subject tables are very nice um, because they will provide the information uh, for uh, in percentage terms. So both the raw number and, and then some more uh, detailed information. One thing if I hit customize table that uh, people often like to do is remove these margins of error because they're an accuracy measure. A lot of people are not interested 
and removing those uh, helps display the information a little bit more easy to read. So here for Census Tract 2, which is in, in the northern part of Douglas County, we can see that the unemployment rate is estimated at 8%. You can see some information on how it differs by age or race group, but at the track level, um, you really don't have enough survey completions to have much accuracy as you start to split the data. So I would, I would keep with the top line statistic there of, of 8%. But to show you how to select um, additional geographies or even to map the data, I'm just going to go ahead and, and click back into the same menu. And rather than having Douglas County, let's go take Sarpy County, which is more the suburban portion of the Omaha metro area, and we can select all of those tracks. And that way we will um, have that information. For to be complete, again, I would want to go grab the county total for Sarpy County so that we can see how that nests and then potentially compare the two counties as we compare the tracks that are therein. Okay, sometimes just give the system a minute to kind of update. But again, click County. It remembers I was in Nebraska last, so I can go find Sarpy County fairly easily. Okay, if I hit close on this menu, it's not gonna necessarily show this on the screen because we have so many tracks that's going off to the right. It, it would, I mean, I can scroll over there once it's loaded up, but um, again, with this level of geographies that we're interested in, we'd want to download the information and, and look at it in Excel or another program. Just for giggles, I will scroll way over here to the right and we can start to see those census tract data for Sarpy County coming in. But this again would be kind of hard, hard to work with overall. Um, we can also on the fly map this information. So two values of the map is that one, we can start to see the spatial patterns and how they differ. But we can also select more geographies from the map if we want to. So if we wanted to get the census tracts in Council Bluffs, uh, Iowa, as part of the Omaha metro area, we could do so. So this is uh, loading up here for the two counties. Okay, so it, it defaulted to the county because we had selected those. But let's select the census tracts so that we can see that information. Okay, scrolling down until I find it, census tract. And uh, we'll start to see that display. There's a default. This is just mapping the variable of total population 16 and over. Okay, so that is, is going to vary a little bit. So we, we click on that button and then we can kind of scroll down. So we're interested in the unemployment rate. Um, and, and there's going to be several variables to kind of go through here, which if, I don't know if you noticed, but they were across the top of the screen. So here's the unemployment rate for all people 16 and older. And this is going to be, tend to be higher in Eastern Omaha and not nearly as high out, out in the suburbs of Sarpy County or, or Western Douglas County. So we can modify this map by clicking onto this little um, icon there, kind of a little working gear. And uh, I usually like to go with, with four data categories. Um, sometimes for whatever reason, this doesn't fit really well on the screen. So I usually have to kind of manually tap to get down to where I'm interested. Okay, it was one off there. So it's hitting my down arrow key until uh, I get to four classes. And then um, I think rather than a gradient to see reds versus blues are an easy way to see highs versus lows a little bit more succinctly. Um, you can also, rather than the default, split it into equal categories, what they call a quantile. So this will put roughly the same amount into each um, unemployment rate range into the legend. So again, you can start to see all these tracks. This is 72nd Street in Douglas County and Sarpy County, if you're familiar, all these tracks east of 72nd with relatively high um, unemployment rates. The red are relatively low with rates under 2%. And you can see those out in the more suburban area. There's pockets here and there. This would be Memorial Park, Dundee area where you have some that are low. But generally the pattern is a lot more blue in the east. I mentioned that we could grab more 
geographies from here. That's with the select menu. But before you do that, the trick is to get your map centered so that you can see the information. Because once you um, kind of hit the select button, it locks into this level of zoom and you can't do a lot with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit select now. And let's say I wanted all of those in Pottawatomie County, Iowa. You can do it more than once. So here I, I took a first grab of this more rural area and it's actually gonna plot them uh, with their colors once it actually updates the map. So let's just give it a second here. And those that I were able to select, it, you can see a lot of the red. And then as we get more central into the city of Council Bluffs, I'm guessing there'll be a little bit more blue there. So I'm just gonna um, use my cursor to drag and uh, select that area. And it'll update here in a second, at least I'm guessing. If not, again, eventually we probably want to download the data in the first place so we can click back into the table view where we can then grab that information. Looks like the system has kind of uh, had a little, little um, flaw here. Something's not quite working right, but you can see we were almost finished there with grabbing the information that, they, that we were interested in. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit stop here and uh, just reminding you that this is um, an option to take a look at that local neighborhood style data and it works well um, for the United States Census Bureau information. David Drew signing off from the University of Nebraska Omaha Center for Public Affairs Research. You can reach out to us at UN Omaha, excuse me, UNOCPAR at unomaha.edu. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.